Hello and welcome to another motor test Tuesday. Today we've got another motor that I bought for the Team Magic. Yes, I bought two. Uh, this is a X Team 3660 uh, 2180 kV. Uh, this is from AliExpress again. So let's see what it looks like. The box is uh, pretty generic, they probably use the same box all of the different type of motors, indeed they do, they haven't even bothered to tick which one mine is, which is nice. Anyway, some foam, and uh, it looks like this box is designed for a 4280, a 40, or something, because it's just popping around in there. But anyway, there's the motor, you can see the uh, difference from the size of the box, it does kind of look like a castle motor, with it being green. But clearly it isn't, so yeah, it's got a metal metal end, and this end is plastic, so it's very much like a castle motor. You can see there, 3660, 1380 kV, and uh, yeah, it's got some uh, 4mm bullets on. Um, this motor also isn't really made for cars, you can see it's only got four mounting holes in the front so it's more made for boats than cars, I believe cars normally have six but we're going to put it in the Team Magic and test it anyway so yeah let's put it on the motor tester and see if it can hit its uh, KV rating first so we've got the motor on the KV tester here you can see it's the same motor, 3660, 3180 KV X Team um, the wires are quite nice, they're nice and uh, flexible, not really stiff like some motors are. Uh, we've got the usual Nanotech 5.6 amp hour charged on storage charge um, and we're using the Sky RC motor analyzer as usual. All the wires are hooked up with the crocodile clips as usual and I have already set it for pole which I'll just quickly show you. There you go. Alright. So, we'll go for the KV test. And let's go. Motor analyzer a bit slow there to get going. Let it settle down a bit. This is the first time it's run. So you can see the amps coming down and the KV's going up. Just stop it and give it another run. So, is it still going up? It is going up slowly. Starting to wonder if I should break some of these motors in before testing them, but I do like testing them straight out of the box. It's not really getting warm. Anyway, you can see it is drawing um, less and less amps and the KV is going up as uh, I guess the bearings are wearing in maybe because they're brand new so anyway we've got 3060 KV and 3.7 amps which is pretty close to its rating it's only um, a few KV off there so that's not too bad so we'll just reset it and we'll see how noisy it is. It doesn't seem quite as quiet as the surpass I tested the other week, but I'll shut up and we'll see. <laughs> so 
So about 71, 72 dB at full speed. Obviously on the way up it hit 82 at peak. So that's not too bad at all. Oops. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure the motor is stone cold again. I'm going to do one more kV test just to see if it can hit that 3180 kV. I've just let the motor cool down to room temperature for a little bit. Now the temperature of the motor does affect the kV as it gets hotter uh, the kV actually goes up because uh, the magnets lose uh, their power so there's less resistance for the thing to turn so it turns quicker. So yeah that's why you always want to test uh, all of your motors at the same temperature if you can and you don't want to sit them running on the motor tester for like 10 minutes and then measure it so you want to take a measurement quite consistently um, I'm wondering if the bearings when they're absolutely brand new because they've been packed with grease the grease obviously goes to the edges in the first couple of minutes of running and then that is your KV but the problem is by then the motor might have warmed up to 30-40 degrees Celsius so this motor is not warm anymore, it's not cold like the motor analyzer is but it's definitely not warm I'd say it's probably uh, 25 maybe 30 degrees at most so let's give it another go So I'm going to stop it there. So that's going to be the final result. So we've got 3073 kV at 3.8 amps and 22,747 rpm at 7.4 volts, which is uh, pretty good really. It's only about 100 lower than it says. So I would say that is in a decent uh, sort of tolerance band for uh, this kind of motor. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's definitely better than the Surpass Platinum I tested the other week. So yeah, super. So as a new feature on these Motor Test Tuesdays, I'm going to improve my uh, testing a little bit. I'm just do going to do a quick physical comparison of a similar spec motor. So this one here is a Surpass Hobby KK series uh, red cam. 3660, 3100 kV. Um, it's only got a 3.2mm um, shaft on this, whereas this is a 5. But the main thing I'm going to do is tell you about uh, the wires and the type of connector it's got on it, and also the dimensions of the motor exactly, um, to see if these ribs, say, make a difference. So I have actually got my calipers are here. You can see they should be uh, zeroed out pretty good, which they are. So first up we're just going to measure the diameter. So that is bang on 36 millimeters. wow 3600. It's pretty nice. Let's just check that was on a green bit. Yeah, and in the fins it's actually 35.8 so let's have a look at the surpass one for diameter here so the surpass one is actually 36 and it doesn't have any ribs on it so next up is going to be the wires so moving on to the wires these wires on the surpass one are the kind of wire where you kind of bend it and it stays in position these are stiff wires the shrink tubing on the outside is kind of that braided stuff which uh, is kind of rubbery rather than silicon so that's a bit cheaper but it does have nice uh, proper bullet connectors on the surpass one so that is quite nice the bearing also is quite covered on this one and uh, I don't know how big it is 
without taking it apart but it looks to be uh, fairly reasonable now on this one here uh, more of the front bearing is exposed so I don't know whether that is a factor um, in dirt getting in but it's definitely more exposed than the Surpass one on the rear again it is a little bit more exposed and uh, this end cap feels like plastic on the Surpass one yeah I think that's plastic as well so they've both got plastic end caps uh, but these front plates are both metal so I wonder if there's any length difference let's have a check so get the uh, X-Team first get it all focus Calipers zeroed, so let's measure the length of that. Let's be able to do one handed with the camera as well. So that is 60.16. Pretty sure the Surpass one's exactly uh, 60. Oh, it's actually a bit shorter. So this one is shorter, however. If you look, I think it's mostly on the front cap of that. So when you screw your screws into this one, uh, the screw hole should be a bit deeper. Um, now on the X-Team one, on the wires for this, it has silicon uh, wires. They are 14 gauge, so that's pretty nice. Uh, but it does have these banana connectors. Uh, I don't like the banana connectors as much as the bullet connectors and also the uh, colours are in a completely different order in fact yeah they are in a completely different order so that's quite funny between the two now obviously the Surpass one has six uh, M3 holes this only has four so if you need a specific mounting position uh, the Surpass one is probably better uh, let's just check the shaft diameter on here as well. So, yeah, bang on 5mm. It's good. This Surpass one is 3.17. I think it's supposed to be 3.175 or something anyway. But it's, it's close enough. So, yeah, that's uh, just a quick comparison. If you liked this added feature on the Motor Test Tuesday, then, uh, I don't know, I guess leave a comment below. Uh, let me just grab these uh, bananas here. So that's 3.5. And this one is 4.3. So that is interesting. But I think the banana connectors splay out more. Yeah, they do in the middle. They're about 4.5 as well. So this is why I don't like the banana connectors, because they do seem to be not quite as grippy as the bullets, but then uh, the wires on this are the, that rubbery stuff, whereas on here they're the silicon stuff. So the X-Team has better wires, the Surpass has better bullets, so you can also get these in a 5mm shaft, you can get those with a 3 point whatever millimetre shaft, so... Yeah, take your pick. Um, I'll be doing both of their performance in the Team Magic. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in that video, I guess. Goodbye.